This Week 12 College Football Picks Edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by MyBookie.ag. Right now to honor college football, MyBookie is offering up to $1,000 in free bets using the promo code SGP. That's right, $1,000 in bonus bets on your first deposit when you use the promo code SGP. Play, win, and get paid at MyBookie.ag. We're also brought to you by Ace Per Head. Ace is the leader in paperhead providers, and they make it super easy to start your own sports book. Plus, Ace is offering up to six weeks free over at aceperhead.com slash SGP. That's aceperhead.com slash SGP. Welcome, everyone, to the Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money Kramer, what's up, Kram dog? Oh, double header, Sean. Double header. We were recording both the DFS podcast and the college football podcast, both on Monday. Mm-hmm. So if you're listening uh, to this early and you're thinking, what the hell is going on? Oh, my God. It's because we're a day early. We got to get ready for the uh, Wazoo trip. We're heading up to Washington State, hanging out uh, with the. Uh, fellow Cougs, hashtag Coug Nation, hashtag go Cougs. We will be on the campus this weekend, Friday, Saturday, probably a little bit of Sunday. So will Colby, getting- Colby snag a Cougar Colby as always in studio for the college picks podcast, AKA the Danta base. What's up guys. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's go. All right. Hey, that, I feel like that needs to be its own drop. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? What happened to your voice there? I don't know. I've been drinking. All right. I, I, I'm coming from a oh. show. I was yelling. All right. And to think, I, th- I was trying to be clever getting Sean the whiskey before you got here. <laughs> You've seen my stand up. I'm drinking. I'm, I'm yeah. yelling. You know you know how it goes. Wait, you're uh, angry yeah. on stage? I am. I didn't see that. No, coming. not that angry. I mean, uh, there's a couple moments. Colby, Colby angry. Uh, how about our guy Mike Leach today? Great, uh, great uh, rant on student loans. Oh, he's got it all, man. We'll be uh, hanging out. Hopefully, get to mix it up with Coach uh, coming up this Saturday, one thirty West Coast kick. We'll uh, get to picking the game. But again, if you're going to be in the Pullman area or Spokane Thursday night, Spokane, yes, yeah, Spokane will be there yeah. Thursday night. Flight gets in. Then no, we get we is get it really Spokane or Spokane. I don't know. You're asking the wrong guy. Sp- I've I've never been to either. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it's Spokane, and the locals will tell you it's Spokane. Spokane. <laughs> <laughs> Just a guess. Uh, uh, are you excited to try the apples, Kramer? Sure. I mean, here's the thing. Here's the the long and short of it. I've spent some time in Eastern. I don't want to brag. Oh, spent a little time man. in Eastern Washington. What were you doing there? Uh, you know, agriculture. Seeing a guy about a horse. <laughs> <laughs> agriculture, huh? <laughs> That, it was years ago before before that was cool. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, I don't know. Ryan, I did a little uh, research oh. over at a trip Oh, nice guide to recreational marijuana in Washington. <laughs> You're limited to 16 ounces of solid marijuana infused uh, product. So 16 ounces, 72 <laughs> ounces of liquid marijuana infused product. Perfect. Oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll make friends with some girls there. We'll find more. All right. <laughs> I, you don't need I, to I got find you it. You can buy it in the store. I got Listen, you covered. <laughs> I, I mo- you know, I'm, I'm not one to consume uh, a, a ton of al- a poison known as alcohol. <laughs> I, I go more the, uh, the the herbal organic. Well, that's route. what's great about us as a combo. Like I feel like me and Sean will handle the booze. Yeah. And then your level of uh, herbal will, will is can pretty much like three human beings worth. So uh, now this is I'm just googling some local places. <laughs> there is a there is a store called Kush 21 uh Kush 21 Pullman Premium Recreational Cannabis <laughs> and I'm looking it up literally 75 feet from a Taco Bell. Oh. <laughs> How many stars? Uh the Taco Bell or the <laughs> Kush 21 Pullman the the, the, the Taco Bell. <laughs> well, this is I, I Again, I don't know what kind of uh, Mexican food they get up in Washington. So maybe maybe Taco Bell is uh, 3.9 out of 5 for a Taco <laughs> Bell. That is very high. Man. So uh, that, 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 it's that Dorito local. I'll say this, Sean. That would be very <laughs> difficult uh, for me right now. I'll share something uh, on not eating meat at, at oh the current. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're really and you're Dude. really making my home life a hell because Dude, that, that's not, te- my oh wife no. keeps going. Why oh, can't you oh, be like more like Ryan? Ryan's not eating any meat. I'm like, well, yeah, 
She's like, Ryan says all great athletes, you know, a lot of <laughs> athletes are, aren't eating meat these We're days. We're going to eat. Well, well you know yeah. what? <laughs> Ryan, you don't work out at all. What are you talking about? I'm in the gym fucking throwing down on the e-gym lap machine so I can go and flex on Juan at, over at Walgreens. Okay. You do realize. I'm fucking ripped as shit. I, I, we need to I do need a protein. photo shoot. The next SGP photo shoot, there's a bench press involved. <laughs> Dude. Sean's throwing up plates. That's I could, <laughs> I, I'm throwing up at least two. <laughs> See, Colby, right. I don't know. I I have no idea what Colby's strength level is at. Uh, you guys don't know. You guys don't know. I'm a I'm a silent assassin. You know. <laughs> I mean, listen. I I uh, yeah. There's no way in hell Sean's beating me in any sort of strength competition. Well, either so. way, well, you are eating, you are going to eat meat keep and eating Pullman. green beans, you pussy. You and I'll, <laughs> I'll I'll be just chewing down raw steak and throwing Dude, down. Dude, we're Egypt. staying on a fucking farm one of the a couple of the nights. All right, you're gonna eat some fucking meat, right? I'll figure yeah. it out. So Ryan, I'm gonna kill him. To I'm gonna clear, kill an animal in front of him. Colby, right? we're going on a weekend college <laughs> football trip, and Ryan is abstaining from meat and alcohol. No, Fine, not alcohol. more meat. I'll drink. Dude, I'm gonna, more I'm meat. Drink. If, if you aren't eating meat. At, well, when we're hanging out for two or three of the days, I'm going to fucking kill an animal on yeah. the farm. So when I'm we're gonna, sitting <laughs> in some random See, sports bar in Spokane, Washington, for eight and a half hours <laughs> watching games all day. And he doesn't want the chicken nachos. He I, wants the nachos. Do you, have, uh, do you have soy nuggets? Can I get some soy nuggets? <laughs> Beans work just fine. Do you yeah. have the uh, Gardein menu? I, I thought Dude. I was in a, a safe place. Oh, Clearly, you guessed wrong, yeah, I was not. Dude, My new on movie the final is- night, I'm going to rip a chicken chicken's heads off, like right in his fucking Colby, in his stop bed. Stop it. You know? <laughs> stop it. You hate Michael Vick way too much oh, to harm that's an That's true. That's true. Hey, how's he on Fox? How did he fail upward like that? He's pretty good on TV. Ah, come on. He you can't did give him time. a gig. What do you mean? He did his time. He did his time, no, no, no. and it's time to move no, no, on. He's done more than most. Look, I'm forgiving He's of that. He's done more than I, most I'm forgiving for of that, but they don't put John Rocker on TV. You know what I mean? Like, if he apologized. But he's he not good on TV, and he's horrible at uh, scrambling. John Rocker There's also no- said some horribly racist things. What, yeah. Saying something and killing a shit ton of animals is completely different. Uh, These are just words. Uh, yes, John Rocker is a terrible human being. He shouldn't be on TV. Just like Michael Vick should not be on TV. Uh, so the whole purpose of jail is to rehabilitate. <laughs> and when words. a man serves his time and he comes back and he's a young 31. Hey, so let's put OJ on TV. He's practically he on, on TV. Yes, please. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be controversial oh, here. Oh, man. But... He's cl- you don't watch his you you don't watch his I don't videos. I don't subscribe Stop I don't it. subscribe sometimes Stop when it gets retweeted it. I'll see it but uh, uh, very rarely Stop I don't it. follow him I don't man I'm I, I got morals man you, you didn't know that about the me. dude murdered right? some people but for some reason society is cool with it look I'm a Colorado I? I'm a Colorado Buffalo with- fan and I hate Ray Carruth mm. I mean listen well, you're- no one, if Ray Carruth had funny Twitter videos you might have to watch they him. might be out there no one checks <laughs> Kobe, your moral guardrails are all over the place. Oh, but that, man. But that's Stop fine. It. That's fine. <laughs> and to think, this all started because I shared that I'm not eating meat. That's, that's what I'm saying. It, 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 A it, stunning it, revelation it, on the podcast. Temporary. It's temporary. <laughs> it's a trial situation. All right. And you know what's not temporary? Our partnership with our presenting sponsor, mybookie.ag. Oh, man. All the great content you hear. All uh, underwritten by the good folks over at mybookie.ag. They're helping support the podcast. Help support them by giving them your online sportsbook business or your sports wager. They got a uh, big uh, Thanksgiving promotion coming up on uh, Turkey Day. They have a risk-free bet on the Bears-Lions game. Doesn't matter who you bet on. If you bet up to $250, if you win, awesome. If not, they will reimburse you. That's right. A my bookie guarantee to get your money back on the Bears and Lions bet, and that's for past, present, and future my bookie players. If you're new to my bookie, make sure you uh, sign up to get those bonus bets. Use that promo code SGP for some sweet deposit bonus up to one thousand dollars. Play, win, and get paid over at mybookie.ag. God, right. that that is such a great song. It is. Gets you jacked saw up. Some, I saw a dude playing air, uh, air drums. In the, in a, a kid in the back seat of a truck was playing air drums, like really hard or something. I bet he eats meat. <laughs> Does. Maybe. <laughs> I, you know, you can't judge a book by its cover, Sean. 
You know what you can judge? Our records. Oh. Because we're we're putting together a nice little streak here. I am always six goes first. <laughs> and oh in my last three weeks on locks and bonus locks. That's right. Six and oh. Six wins, zero losses in my locks and bonus locks. Ryan, you are now eight and one over the last three weeks in the top twenty five. Fourteen and four in the top twenty five over the last six weeks. Tot war. But most impressively, uh, more impressively, we all we all <laughs> finally cracked the six pack. Each of us going four and two ATS in the dreaded Colby dance six pack, which had been which first had, week. We all went above. And if you listen to the college experience, I gave out mm. 12 locks and I went nine and three. It's hard to rate the game. You know what I mean? Like you get the oh, it's a lot out three there, and know? seven. It's the same fucking thing. You know what I mean? Like, and, and I got I got to be honest because you're talking about records and the record that that we love because it's from the fans, Colby. And that's our reviews over on iTunes. Oh yeah. Oh man. And I went over there and I'm like, oh, college show tonight. I'm gonna pull one of these about Colby. Ooh. Give a nice pat in the back. So five stars. C. Pony C. P. O'Neill twenty one. Gotta love Colby's foolproof technique of saying sprinkle on 15 <laughs> dogs in a row. That way, when the 16th hits, he can tout all day. That's true. Kramer and Sean, you're my guy. That's true. But tout life, baby. Tulsa, Tulsa plus 575. Tout, tout, tout. Colby and, and, did have uh, LSU outright for his dog, plus 190. Kramer gave out the Gophers a plus 215 parlay those together that's nine to one and who shit on us for 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 tulsa some guy shit on us on the comment section tulsa has been a covering machine this year so they didn't cover one time when you threw your money on there (laughs) how about before you leave the comment you look at their track record all right the golden hurricane are amazing yep we also uh as a as a group hitting our teases at (laughs) an impressive (laughs) impressive uh percentage here ryan at 55 myself at 55 and colby dan 64 percent of his three team teases which pay out at plus 180 over at my bookie dot ag mm. mm. kaching kaching and uh colby with his bonus lock sitting at 73 percent kramer and i are bonus locks at 64 percent so there's money to be there's money in these here uh college football hills <laughs> and we're about to we're about to go mine and unearth some <laughs> Let's do it. We already uh, we already cracked it open, but let's do one more officially to open up the Colby Dant College uh, six pack here. First up, Eastern Michigan squaring off against Akron. And is this a little bit of Maction, Colby? Yes. Tuesday night, Tuesday night. So again, Colby, this is why you subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss these early picks. Kudos to you for taking advantage of the early recording day and going straight for the maxion. I well, you love guys it. burn me sometimes on those Tuesday nights, so I, I have to rule them out. I burn you. <laughs> we burn. But don't worry, buddy. I'll, right. I'll buy you a fucking Let's, steak sandwich. Sean, get back right? to it, please. Eastern Michigan, minus 17 road favorite in Akron. Mm. Against Akron. Akron, a plus 625 <laughs> home dog. EMU, minus 950 on the money line. Total sitting at 46 and a half. Colby, what are we doing here? Um, uh, look, I've had this philosophy all year, and it's won me a lot of money. I, and I think Akron, double check this one. Are they winless? Uh, ATS. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm pulling up that information bl- as we speak. It's either them or UMass. That's winless ATS. Yes. Uh, um, Akron, an impressive 0 and 9 straight up, and 0 and 9 against the spread. And I feel like uh, UMass is at a similar area. <laughs> they're one of three teams that don't have a victory versus an FPS school. Yeah, and they're really bad, and they shouldn't have fired Terry Bowden, who took him to the MAC championship just just two years ago. He has one bad year after going to the MAC championship. They fire him. Come on, Eastern that's what Michigan you get. though. They're not coming in red hot. One in five ATS in the last six. But let me tell you, this team's going bowling. I've been high on Eastern Michigan all year. This coach is a very, very good coach. They're one of the. They were a horrible, horrible pro. They were Akron before this coach got there, and um, so minus seventeen all day. I think you can give me give me thirty minus. I'll say minus thirty on this one. When Bowling Green beats Akron by that much, I mean this one's going to be ugly. Yeah, I mean for me, it's the same like UMass. They're just on an insane auto fade. A lot of my bonus locks are just me going against yeah. UMass or New Mexico State, like me last week. They're, those three uh, I are mean, the bottom yeah. three. You look at Army laying thirty four and a half, and you go, <laughs> I don't know, that's kind of high. And then they win by like sixty three to seven. 
I, I think a similar trend but, could but apply. Let's, here. What, I'm noticing a change in you, buddy, because yes. at one point you hated me for putting them on the six pack. Mm. Well, as you notice, we didn't spend a bunch of time talking about it. It's just a passing comment <laughs> that I throw out at but the But you're end winning of the cash basically off of, off of my couple weeks where I put them on there to let you know how bad they were. Hey, I follow Kobe Dan's work, <laughs> I listen to your information. Again, that's why you're employed here. <laughs> Ryan, what do you got? Akron has scored nine points in their last four games. <laughs> Combined. They they're, just they're got like the housed Redskins. by Bowling Green, who is coached, <laughs> Who's horrible. Who is coached by who? Who's the uh, offense coached by? Oh, the, Scott yeah, Leffler. From, from Virginia Tech. Yeah. One of the worst offensive coaches. Oh, the, the worst defensive coordinator in Brian Van Gorder, who was at Notre Dame and Louisville. Uh, I'm... It's Maction. It's Tuesday night. Weird things may happen, but not with this Akron team. <laughs> give me, the, give me the Eastern Michigan. Who are they? Eagles. Eagles? Yeah. Oh. The Zips. Zip them up. That's why Sean's picking them. <laughs> yeah, I can't go against the Eagles. Not against the fucking Patriots this week. Michigan State heading into Michigan. Battle of the Palm, Ann Arbor, Michigan. <laughs> You know, because they show you like, here's my palm, the and they show you never seen a person from Michigan show you on their hand where they are in Michigan. Uh, mm. It's some local no. Michigan humor. Tweet us at Gambling Podcast <laughs> if you know if you're from Michigan, you know what I'm talking about. 9 a.m. West Coast kick, Michigan minus 14, uh, minus 600 on the money line. MSU Sparty plus 425. Total sitting at 44 and a half. Colby, what are you doing here? Uh, first off, I mean, look, I know we're we're pro my bookie AG, but shop around because I saw this at fifteen on uh, some other stuff today. Ooh. <laughs> Things move around, um, but maybe you like Michigan, so maybe you don't want to shop around. No, I don't like Michigan because, um, look, Michigan State, the wheels are falling off. D'Antonio, it, it, you know, he was in this up twenty six, I think, against Illinois and lost. Now afterwards, ADs makes a statement saying he's his job is safe. But why would he state that? I need a ruling. Why would he state I'm, that? I'm looking at my bookie. It's yeah. now 13 and a half as wow. we record. Jeez. Do we adjust it or do we, st we, we just stick to the, the, the holy grail yeah. as the let's, spreadsheet? No, let's update it to 13 yeah. and a half. Ooh. Right. Ooh. Well, it's, it's Ooh. It's supposed to be what, we're, what the line is <laughs> when we're recording. I mean. Hmm. Uh, Shop a, around is what I'll say. I'm I a real man. 15. I'm yeah. a real man. And even though no, I just. No, a real man needs I, meat. I just adjusted. <laughs> Wow, I, I have no, I I don't have a rebuttal to that right now. A, like I said, a real the, man knows Michael Vick's a piece of shit. Oh well, see uh. now you're just <laughs> now now you're just being now drunk, you're Colby. just hey, he's a man who made some mistakes, Colby, and I believe in second chances. <laughs> what the guy grew up, he didn't realize fighting dogs was bad. He came from yeah. a really bad. Are you, are you backing up Riley Cooper? Did too? you see he almost won the national? I mean, again, Riley you keep comparing violence to dogs to horrible racist. Actually. I actually think that well, the, well, it's not like Riley Cooper actually, as far as we know, you can hurt run somebody. A, listen, Michael Vick hurt these innocent dogs. Did you read the indictment? Uh, I, he grabs his kid's cocker spaniel, and because they're not paying attention, he see, throws it into the dog ring, and the dog ring destroys the fucking cocker spaniel in like five seconds. Three in things front are of his happening. Kids faces. Three things are happening right now. People are wondering how the same man that can be. <laughs> calling me a pussy for not eating meat. Exactly. Being on the soapbox, crying about a cocker spaniel. I mean, I'm a dog guy, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I, man's yeah, best friend, ca motherfucker. Cow man's best friend. Cows are highly intelligent. Now, granted, we aren't prodding them with electrodes and, and you know, th fucking cutting their heads off and throwing them through butcher saws, but someone is. So I realize <laughs> as humans, a.k.a. top of the food chain, we have a complicated relationship with animals. If for not, not Ryan. No, for one. Yeah, Ryan is <laughs> off. He's living in a safe space for now. But, for now. It, the, yo, listen, we live in a place where those illegal interested. <laughs> those illegal immigrants with his lettuce. They pick his fucking oh, lettuce. Not. All right. right. You're really <laughs> trying to derail the show here, Colby. If I'm going all in on Trump. <laughs> well, all of this to say. I adjust the spread down a half point, but I'm still taking Michigan State. Uh, I'm taking Michigan State, too, because D'Antonio, this team is going to, like, when the AD makes a statement like that, it, it, only, it only means that his job is not secure. Which is... It's a little bit of a... Uh, uh, maybe they're forgetting what it was like. I, I don't know. Feels like they have a pretty good coaching situation, almost to the point where they, it seems like they've been fortunate to keep him, right? Like... 
I don't know, man. They've just, they've you, outperformed you, their their talent more than they I don't, haven't. I don't more than they have. I haven't. don't know on offense. On offense, no. Defense, yes. But more importantly, against Michigan, one one in ten Michigan is against Michigan well, State the, the against ro- the spread in the last eleven. Well, the road teams have won the past four, I think. Against the spread, he knows how to get it done against Michigan. Period. I, yeah, I'm all Antonio on does. Points. He does run. show up against uh, good teams. 27 and 24 when playing against a top level team, someone winning at a greater than 75% clip. So that to me means they're probably a decent dog in a lot of those games and he's helping them uh, to win outright also shows up on the road, 36 and 25 straight up in road games when coaching Michigan state. So I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to fade Harbaugh in these like Just big, too many points. big 10 games, rivalry right? game, too many points. Yeah. I, I just think there's some motivation issues there with Harbaugh. 29% of the money, but or of the tickets, but 60% of the money on Michigan State. Oof. We're be, sharp. Be careful. Might cut someone. Wisconsin laying 14 points as they head into Lincoln, Nebraska. Nebraska was supposed to be the surprise team that everyone was. This is when they were going to take the next step. Nebraska, a plus 425 dog. Wisconsin, minus 600 on the money line. 51 is the total. Colby, what are you doing here? I am riding big red here. Look, they had a bye week to go into this. Adrian Martinez is coming back. Now, I get it. Nebraska has been a total disappointment. But uh, Wisconsin played like 35 home games this year. And when they hit the road, they lost to Illinois. When they hit the road, they lost to Ohio State. Those are the only two college campus stadiums they've been to. Besides that, they had a game in South Florida at Raymond James Stadium. So I'm going to say... Pirate ship? Pirate ship. They played near pirate the pirate ship. ship. Yes, they so did. So they're one and zero when playing near the a pirate, pirate ship. ship. <laughs> okay, keep but, that. Well, and, that and, later. and Iowa was my uh, my dog, and Almost I mean they up. were in that game, yeah. right? Mm. They just missed the two point at the end of the game, yeah. or like with three minutes left, they kinda, missed the two point. They covered yeah. for us. Yeah, kind of felt fortunate a little bit. Right? Uh, the I nine mean, we had in plus nine though. Hey, they were in that game, the entire game. I I think Wisconsin a little bit overrated to be. They can't throw the ball. T- classic Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be a big road favorite, I think you have to have a, uh, I don't know, Sean, uh, just Col- a more high-powered offense. So. Col- Colby's now going contrarian with back-to-back dogs. Oof. What's going on here? You know, uh, you never know about me, buddy. I'm, I'm <coughs> really concerned. What are you doing, Kramer? Oh, I'm, I'm 100% lockstep with you guys. This is not This is not good. Or this is great. We've, we've unlocked the key to the six-pack. We're just going <laughs> to slay it this week, go 6-0. I no, mean, but Wisconsin, Col- Colby Wisconsin. made a good point. Like Nebraska, they've had a fucked up season. Bye week. Now you got a big opponent coming S- to starting Lincoln. quarterback back. Yeah, yeah. you got you got your mojo back yeah. a little bit. Uh, it feels like this is the game they get up for. Colby, now it's the road spot, and it's also the Wisconsin's defense isn't this elite squad anymore. I think they're giving up twenty eight points per game over their last three. So they struggle passing the ball too. Uh, l- like the situation for Nebraska, Virginia Tech. Minus five and a half road favorites against Georgia Tech in Atlanta, Georgia. Twelve thirty West Coast kick for Saturday. Minus two twenty on the money line is Va Tech. Georgia Tech plus one eighty going the other way. Total sitting at fifty two. Colby, what are you doing here? Look, the fuck my life tour is very strong. Very strong right now because Virginia Tech's winning the coastal. I watched <laughs> Virginia play Georgia Tech. They look like shit. <laughs> what happened? Week. Virginia Tech. We, me and you cashed in on that wake game, and I'm really impressed by what Bud Foster's doing with the defense. Was, his team's coming along. They're ascending. I mean, they were yeah. a young team. It, it, I guess the Flint narrative they might makes get sense. A, a lifetime contract after this year. <laughs> it's fucking sociopath. I'm He's all about it. everyone. Hokey as here. bad as Virginia Tech has looked at moments in this season, they are four and one ATS in their last five uh, games. No, so exceeding get, expectations as of late. Rallying around that embarrassing loss against Duke. Uh, look, th- last week was to honor Bud Foster. They were never going to lose that game. Uh but they showed up in Notre Dame. I think that's the spot you got to look to. Uh, and Miami, they were like a 14-point dog. Yeah, forget forget, that forget th- they always show up in Miami. To show up in Notre Dame with a w- without your starting quarterback, like they started their third string quarterback. They've and they should have beat though. Notre Dame. No, they should have won. That was a horrible call. So this team is rolling, and when I saw this line was under seven, yeah, unbelievable. Huh? Right? I don't understand, yeah. Colby. Explain to me 
What what is Georgia Tech? Because they beat Miami as well somehow, and they played Virginia but close. My, but but Miami Virginia Tech's sucks. offense is better than Virginia's offense right now. And this game, strangely, last week was the game you had to worry about because Wake they could have lost the Wake game and still controlled their own destiny. Yeah. This game's strangely more important, but this has to be a touchdown. This, Sean, you know I've been making my bets early in the week yes. this year, and I'm loving it because I'm, I've been on the right lo- right side of a lot of the closing line movement. Bet this game early. This number yeah. goes to seven. Yeah. yeah, it's going up. It's not going down. I'm also on uh, Virginia Tech. Uh, again, they just kind of have figured it out a little bit. Got uh, They're just playing well. I don't know what else to say. They, they got a little momentum here. I do think UVA is where things could kind of uh, – be a make or break for the season. But uh, I think they roll past Georgia tech. Uh, yeah. I mean, again, they got their starting quarterback last back last week and they destroyed a team Yeah, that people were happy about yeah. and their offense w- had been slaying people. So yeah, let's go. Let's go. And let's go to Pullman, Washington, <laughs> where we will be in attendance for Stanford squared off against Washington state. One thirty PM West coast kick. The Cougs are 10 and a half point favorites minus 400 on the money line. Stanford plus 310 total sitting at 63. I'm all in on Washington state. No way. I'm not going to pick them. No way. I'm not going to bet on them. I am going to wait a little bit to see if this goes down to 10. It actually was at 10 earlier in the morning. And then when, okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to yeah. monitor yeah. this spread, but right now I'll still take it at minus 10 and a half. Colby, why should we bet on the Cougars this week? Oh, um, because Mike Leach called out his team after a bad performance in Berkeley, mm. and he basically said they're they're the softest team of all time. And last time he did that, they responded well, and I think they'll respond well again. And I also think Stanford is incredibly down. My buffs just beat Stanford. In Are the, you worried he may call us the softest podcast of all time because of Ryan's recent admission? I am very <laughs> soft. Uh, or, yeah, I, I'm sure he could. He could call that. I mean, gonna we're gonna we're gonna be to, accurate. At we're the gonna time. need to edit the <laughs> podcast because if Leach hears that, I don't want. Based on what I, I don't want what, Coach hearing this and. <laughs> Him ranting and raving. Based on my research, Bigfoot plant based diet. <laughs> Just so Bigfoot's gone paleo? What about pirates, buddy? I'm pretty sure no, they were. Not weren't. paleo, the opposite. Pirates were very much into uh, plant based diets as well. <laughs> no, that's why they got scurvy. They never ate any citrus or vitamin C. They didn't have fruits or vegetables. That's why they kept having fishing. horrific out there diets. Fishing, you know what I mean? Yeah, so you, Colby touched on it. The, the co- you know, Leach said, said what he needed to say. But more importantly, what we don't, we haven't been privy to, some dudes got put into a shed. Yeah. Some yes. dudes got put into a shed, and we're told we're not come out of that Deserving. fucking shed. And also, how about this? Wazoo uh, plays Stanford really well over the past five years under Leach. When Stanford was really good, they were always a thorn in, in, in Stanford's oh, side. Oh, four and one against the spread in their last five games against Wazoo. Boom. There you go. Boom. Well, and you see and what I did that we didn't even talk about this before. I didn't even show? research it. That's just memory. That's the Danta base coming in. <laughs> well, and it does seem like a good matchup for the way you Stanford know. sucks dick this year. Well, Stanford <laughs> yeah. sucks. That's huge. But also, they're just a methodical plotting team historically. And then you have, you know, Wazoo with the air raid. Uh, it seems like a bad match. We're going to the game. We're going to the game. We're obviously going to be uh, betting. You're going to paint your face, right? Since you're not. No, eating but it. I am going to. I I need to. I need to pick up a nice uh, some some Wazoo we, gear. We, I feel like right when we come into town, we're going to get Wazoo gear. Yeah. Right. We're it's definitely getting us. Wazoo gear, and we're we're not we're going against the private school pussies. Of this course. is going to be glorious. And Sean, this is the best part. Ninety-two percent <laughs> of the money is on Stanford. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Oh, dude, oh, this wow. is gold. Let's well, because I think they saw a disappointing performance last week for Washington State. Well, I was on the road in Berkeley. They're probably partying, doing acid the night before. <laughs> you know what I mean? I would love to hear a Mike Leach, like, pissed off at his team behind closed oh, doors man. speech. <laughs> well, and we, we didn't even hit on how great the Eddie O post game was for mm. LSU and the Alabama. Fuck, uh, the Roll fuck. Tad! No, fuck you! Like, yeah. It's just so good. <laughs> and I think Kramer mentioned it. Normally, you wouldn't want the uh, – your you're someone like recording what's happening in the locker room and leaking that out. But 
that was the greatest recruiting video of all time. You go into Alabama, and I think even some of the players, like there were came high school, to, came to yeah, there were high school players that came that were gonna like you know kind of basically. Well, ba sign Bama up. tries to milk that as a uh, recruiting. Yeah, the LSU alley. players yeah. came, came over. There and they're like, like, you better go to us because yeah. you fucking suck. As if so, they had a fucking ice cream truck uh, next to a <laughs> playground, if you know what I mean. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. <laughs> Yeah, selling ice cream, Colby. Get the f you come all, on. You getting all Sandusky I, on I me over here? The, I switched the plants, and you think five o'clock kick? Subhuman. UCLA heads to Salt Lake City, Utah, where the Utes are a minus. Uh, I like to say it like Joe Pesci. Hey, Utes, couple of Utes. <laughs> minus twenty-one. Two Utes. Uh, two Utes. <laughs> minus twenty-one uh, at home. Minus seventeen on on the money line. The Bruins plus one thousand. Don't look now, but UCLA quietly putting together a okay season. Total sitting at 54. Colby, what are you doing? I love this line. I mean, I, this is the first one that jumped out to me. You, give me the points easily. Utah, not the type of team to really blow teams out. They're great defensively. They Throwing the ball, they, they have an athlete at quarterback, but he, he they're very inconsistent offensively. So Moss, good running back, but at the same time, UCLA's kind of rolling here. Give me the 21 all day. I think Utah will still probably win this game, but uh, not a crazy play to throw some on the money line, but, but the hard part is Salt Lake City is a tough place to play, but no way they win by more Gotta than Gotta wonder, it was the bye at the wrong time for this UCLA team coming off a five-game win and cover streak? Yeah. I look to the situation, though. Always tough to play in Utah with the elevation. When you play fast like Chip Kelly does, Sean can tell you all about what happens to your defense and mm -hmm. how a 10-point game turns into a 24-point game because that defense is gassed. Who has UCLA played over this w Washington State <laughs> stretch? Yeah, that was an insane yeah. game. Don't bring that up when we see Mike. <laughs> He's not going to want to talk about that game. Dude, but uh, something well, to pay attention to. If UCLA which wins one this of game. These, but no, no. Colorado, Arizona State. Which one of these teams has that that great defense? Arizona State's got a better defense, I think, than than, than Utah. Are. No, not nothing no. like that. Nothing like my, that. That's yeah. my point. But, sure, they've been rattling off some points. But when's points the last time Utah's against, beaten a Power Five by twenty one or more? That's fair point. But I'm going to take you over to the betting ticket breakdown, and Sean, I hope your vote isn't placed because UCLA getting is getting three quarters of the oh. tickets. Public dogs have fleas. Yep. Sorry. Don't be a square sharp. It's Take just too many Utah points U though, man. It's minus just, it's, 21. UCLA, by the way, if UCLA was to find themselves in this game, if they win, they control their own. They do. They do. Can <laughs> to go to the Pac-12 championship. I would love the situation. Well, I wouldn't love it, but I would like, I would like the situation more for UCLA. If Utah wasn't also coming off a bye. Well, to me, the, it's the tough part Salt Lake City. Utah is a really good team in Salt Lake City. They, they Again, rarely lose in Salt Lake City. You're, you're, you're a speed team. You're trying to run lots of plays. You're Chip Kelly. Your team is going to gas out. That's why this number is 21. Give me Utah. Yeah, I kind of wanted to back UCLA. Did I sway you? No, you did because you brought up great points about uh, the defense and the conditioning. And the fact that it's just he's just everyone, anti Chip Kelly. He's still mad. Yeah, I'm, fuck Sam, Chip He's Kelly. still mad about Sam Bradford. <laughs> no, Utah Sam Bradford a, trade was unforgivable. Utah has a shot at the playoff. Yeah, Utah's and, gonna. And you, part of that equation is beating the shit out of UCLA. But also, if they win by ten, that still gonna still gonna be fine. Uh, I think points, they could. Man? I think they could. I think this game could get away from uh, UCLA. So I'm I'm rocking Utah minus twenty one. What do we got? We got our top 25 picks coming up. Ryan, that's your specialty. You know what my specialty is? Talking about the great partners that we have at the Sports Gambling Podcast, including Ace Per Head. You want to start your own business? You want to be your, you be your own bookie. Be your bookie for, you know, find your own clients, your own customers. Ace Per Head offers a simple turnkey solution to starting your own sports book. That's right. All you got to do is go to aceperhead.com slash SGP. They're offering up to six weeks free of their awesome sports book management software, including 24 seven customer support based in the U S that's always appreciated. Some of the sharpest lines in the industry, plus the uh, all inclusive professional betting site that they'll set you up with. 
the lines updated to the second and wagers graded immediately plus mobile in-game wagering they got it all over at ace per head stop trying to beat the bookie and just become the bookie at aceperhead.com slash sgp that's aceperhead.com slash sgp the leader in paperhead providers <laughs> a refreshing sigh from Kramer as we get into the top 25 five top 25 games to break down a lot of uh, opportunity to cash here Kramer first off Navy that's right Navy heads of South Bend Indiana 11 30 p.m. kick that can't be right uh, <laughs> squaring off against Notre Dame Notre Dame a minus nine and a half favorite uh, whoopsie a minus three fifty on the money line for Notre Dame plus two seventy five. I've just been they've just changed the game to eleven thirty AM West Coast <laughs> kick. Navy, the midshipman, plus two seventy five dogs, total sitting at fifty four. Colby. What are we doing here? I I really hope Navy wins this game, but I'm taking the Irish minus nine and a half. Mm. Triple option. Navy's actually really good. They should have beat Memphis. So they can kind of throw the ball a little bit too. Yeah, right? but be- better than your typical Navy team. But I still think Notre Dame still has. I mean, crazier shit has happened, so they, they they still have something to play for right now. And what's that? I'm saying they have two losses. Bama still plays Auburn. Georgia wins the SEC. Notre Dame could still have a chance in this thing. Uh, and are you talking about the college football playoff? Yeah. Notre Dame. No. Nah. Look, I look. I don't think they belong, but but you're saying the powers still... that be love Notre Dame in the playoffs. Yeah, I'm just saying like right now everyone's got them counted out. But I'm saying if Bama loses to Auburn, okay, Georgia beats LSU in the SEC championship. Well, Georgia barely beat Notre Dame. Well, then all of a sudden you add in Baylor beats the Oklahoma this week, and then Oklahoma then 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 Oklahoma has two losses. Yeah, it's possible. That's what I'm saying. But I'm there. just saying, do they think it's possible? I think they do, and I think they're going to beat Navy. I know and. Look, I know I'm saying this on Veterans Day, so I, I should probably go to hell. But, and I hate Notre Dame. Why am I taking Notre Dame? Oh, man, you almost got me to say take Navy. <laughs> <laughs> you're, so you're going Notre Dame. Colin. I'm going to go Notre here. Dame, minus nine and a half. Okay. Kramer, what are you doing? Are you getting cute here? Mm. Cute? Is that cute? what's going on? No, no, cute would be taking Navy, right? No. Take Navy. They've crushed this. All right, it's Veterans Day. Give me they, Navy. <laughs> I hate Notre Dame. Seven and I hate Notre Dame. What the, am I doing? I want to root for Navy. They, they've they've Change outright beat them. Change my pick. A couple <laughs> years back. They're they're really good this year. This is the one I'm going to regret. But, hey, it's Veterans Day. I can't. I can't. They're oh, covering spreads like crazy. It's Veterans Day. I, I think I love Navy here. I mean, I I was wrong fading uh, fading Duke or fading Notre Dame last week with Duke. <laughs> that was not a good idea. I I I you know I stand by. I I got you on the right side of that one. <laughs> that situation was golden. Now I, I'm I like this Navy squad and and frankly I anytime you have a triple option situation going into a team that to your point I think there's question whether or not the motivation's still there. And when you start getting chop blocked at the knees with these bullshit fucking high school offense, <laughs> God bless the troops, all that good stuff. Wow, but high right. school <laughs> offense that can actually pass the ball. I, you think the troops eat meat? I think the troops eat meat that's been dried out and then put into a tin can. <laughs> that's what I think they eat. Called MREs. Happy, happy to buy a mistake, though. <laughs> Temp- like I said, temporary situation. Uh, Gibby Navy plus the points. Yeah, all day. Navy plus the points. Yeah. Uh, lock did, did you lose a bet or something? Lock potential here. I, I, I think Navy or I think Notre Dame is going to have trouble getting up for this game as far as like to blow out Navy and Navy. You know, this isn't Navy Army, but I, I think there is uh, there is a kind of a decent rivalry between Navy and Notre Dame and Navy is kind of hung with them in this series. In spite of the fact that they're one and seven straight up, they are five and one ATS in their last six uh, in the head to head series against Notre Dame. And Navy has been great against, uh, you know, against the spread all season, six and two ATS seven and one straight up. Like this is just a competent Navy team. And 
I think Notre Dame kind of uh, struggles to get up, and I don't see them blowing out this Navy team. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, Colby, but could Navy not be the group of five team? No, they could. They could. They have Notre Dame this week. They have SMU next week. They still play Houston and Army. Yeah. And you're telling me they're not going to pick Navy if it's close? <laughs> like, no, of course. Of course, man. I think you want to talk about which team has more to play for. Notre Dame is out. Uh, crazier Notre things have happened. Look, dude, Notre Dame's Brian, like Duke of football. They always give them the benefit of the doubt. Last year was a bad look. Every year they've been in a bad look. <laughs> it was a real bad look last year. Move on, Sean. I am moving on to Wake Forest versus Clemson. Clemson, minus 33. Minus 33 on the uh, spread there. Minus 7,200. Wake Forest plus 2,000. Total sitting at 62 in Clemson. 1230 kick. Colby, what are you doing here? So you mean to tell me Clemson finally plays a decent team and they happen to catch them on a back-to-back road game? <laughs> Dude, the luck of Clemson's schedule. Unbelievable. But I'm uh, give me the 33 points. I'm taking Wake in the 33. Wake still has enough offense that I think once this game gets out of control, they have Sage Surratt, really good wide receiver. Newman's a good quarterback. The backup's a good quarterback. So they have enough firepower to to cover 33. I, I got this one at 49 my, to 26. My instincts say that. But Wake also just got their season ended. They controlled their own destiny. They had a chance to be if they beat Clemson, they could win that side of the ACC. They were clearly looking ahead in the Virginia Tech game. The question is, do they bounce back and still Dave have Clawson that? and coach teams will will try every time. Well, because back to your point, they have too much. Well, you think they have too much offense. What did Virginia Tech do to stop them? Is that concerning now? It was, it was cold. They're going down to South Carolina. It's well, is, warm. is this a letdown game for Clemson? And I ask that because, you know, last week, and we should have been more all over this, but Clemson really, you could tell just by the interviews that they felt disrespected. They're like, we're going to put our orange pants on. This is to win the ACC. Like, yeah. they got really jacked up and were really looking to stick it to them and, and ran the score up accordingly. Is this a weird letdown game? Because no, they're gonna now, they're gonna be, they're, now they're going to be now they're going to be back in the college football playoff. People are kind of like, yeah, you know, oh yeah, we were wrong. Penn are State they, was in the gonna top be, four. Are they going to put them in the top four? How would they not be in the top? Well, four? Well, because Minnesota and Baylor are, are better, like resume wise. Yeah, but come on. Yeah, Clemson is in the SEC. The the pow- They were the, number five. Not in the SEC. <laughs> oh, sorry, ACC. No, <laughs> Clemson was. <laughs> get, get me out of this. They're ba- they 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 cheat like they're in the SEC. Yes, yeah, yeah. They do Clemson, a bunch of so students saying, at churches. Clemson was number five. Penn State lost. How they're clearly going to slide. Well, Clemson's them back in. best win is what? Yeah, but they are not going to completely reseed the the thing and go. That's oh wait, problem. we were completely that's the, that's wrong. That's why the playoffs are such a sham. It's not even right. a playoff. It's an I'm invitational. saying I'm not yeah. arguing whether or not it's a sham. It is stupid. But if they had Clemson at number five and then they destroy a team and Penn State number four loses, how do they not move well, them up? Well, I would argue that Minnesota has better wins and Baylor has better wins, so that's why they Minnesota just beat Penn State. Right, but they're not going to put Minnesota in the college football playoff. Yeah, I hate America. I mean, right. <laughs> well, Colby, I love America. I don't like the college football yeah, playoff that's what system. I mean. I'm just frustrated. All right. All right. So, I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take Clemson minus 33, even though I was kind of making a counter argument for a letdown. <laughs> he makes the point. No, there no, I was <laughs> I was I was bringing up. Is this a possible letdown? I still think they're going to have the foot to the gas uh, and, and look to destroy Wake Forest. The chip has been implanted. I, I think the chip stays because regardless of if they get to number four or not, the narrative is that Clemson sucks because the ACC sucks. Well, the ACC does suck. Agreed. Yeah. But Clemson can only play the teams that they have. That doesn't make them well, less. They, they play Wofford. No, no. I, I'm not trying to argue the <laughs> okay. merits of their schedule. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to say that it doesn't make them. It, they shouldn't be ranked lower because the ACC sucks. I would say they should be ranked lower because the ACC sucks. I'm saying if you put Clemson on, onto a field, they beat the shit out of Alabama, right? But that, right? That, that's last I, I, year. This oh, is sure, a brand sure, sure. New no, season. no, I, I, all of that uh, I appreciate. That whole defensive but line why, in the NFL. But based on the ACC sucking in the minds of, of people voting, Clemson was lower than Alabama, right? For example. Yes. yes. That's all I'm saying. So the chip has been, been basically we need to f- 
fucking murder people. So yeah. people notice because this is bullshit. Our conference sucks this year. And Wake Forest season got crushed last week in Blacksburg. That's the main thing for me. Give me Wake in the points. Wake's going to do it. You're crazy. Lay the points. Wake's going to do it. Me and Sean are on the right side here. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Uh, Sean and I, uh, quick update. Sean and I have agreed on the first eight picks. Yep. There hasn't been a lot of disagreeing. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Just, well, it's he, all, we're all just d disagreeing about life choices and whether or not you should give uh, people second chances. But, but for the <laughs> most part, the picks have been uh, we're in lockstep. Georgia. I'll give you guys a second chance next week when you lose that game. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, I mean, Mike, uh, he threw five touchdowns against the Redskins on Monday night. It's the, it's the Georgia. <laughs> it's a dream crusher. Three. In Auburn, Alabama, 12-30 kick. The dogs minus 145 <coughs> on the money line. Auburn plus 120 as a home dog. Total sitting at 44. Colby, what are you doing? I'm taking Auburn. Auburn's going to win this game outright. Why is Georgia favored? Yeah. I, I'm. How is Georgia? Uh, uh, can we call out Kurt Herbstreak, who has Georgia as the third team in the nation? They have the worst loss out of anyone in the pot, in the top 25. They lost to South Carolina on their third-string quarterback at home in Athens. They do not belong anywhere close to the college football playoff right now. Well, if they Colby, win this game, if, if they beat A&M, then maybe if they win the SEC championship, then okay. Then I'll start buying in. But right now, they do not belong anywhere close to the college football playoffs. It's all bullshit. That's why I vote for a uh, only a one-week ranking at the very end of the season. Yes, I'm with you. Because, I mean, it is nonsense. I think... App State just beat that same South Carolina team yeah, look, in Columbia. Colby. By, by more. We, I promise you we will do it again this, this year. We will yes, we will seating? we will make our own Let's sixteen team playoff. And life will be good. <laughs> and of course, ten conference winners, six yeah. wild yes. cards, plenty of teams. First round simulate the, the first entire... round is a home game, more revenue. That's good for the schools and the conferences, and then it yeah. can go to bowl games from there. Or even bowl games the whole way. It's amazing. Who gives a fuck? Give me Auburn. I, when I saw this one, before I saw you, uh, it would, obviously it's a top 25 game, so it was making it to the sheet. And obviously I have been slaying top 25 picks. I looked at this and wrong team favored. Give me Auburn. Yeah. I'm That's all this is. I'm going Georgia here, mm. guys. Sorry. Georgia 5-1 and one straight up in their last six against Auburn. End of... Five and one straight up in the last six games against an opponent in the Southeast Conference. <laughs> Everyone's uh, talking about Auburn as a home dog, well, but they, they play in the SEC East. That should be noted. Yeah, they're they're soft. And of they're course, they're going to gather matter. some wins against Kentucky and Vanderbilt and Tennessee. <laughs> hey, it's SEC game. Give me Georgia. Why are you are a very salty man? Oh, yeah, dude, Colby's really this cranky. time of year when I see these rankings come out, I get really upset. <laughs> I mean, have you not listened to the college experience? I, 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 I get the gist that you haven't. We need the download. UCF. What do you mean? Literally got pissed on last week. I took Tulsa. Through a fan. I took Tulsa. Let's move on. Sean. I'm not a UCF fan. I was only saying that they deserve the shot. I am an East Carolina fan who are in the same division as UCF. You're a soccer mom. I get it. <laughs> Minnesota and the Golden Gophers head into Iowa. Iowa. A three-point favorite against Minnesota, a top three college football team. One o'clock West Coast kick. Iowa minus 155 on the money line. The Gophers, a plus 130 dogs. Total sitting at 44 and a half. Colby, I, I guess I just got to write in Minnesota plus three for you. No, correct? no, no, you don't. What? This is this is where what? they match. Oh, my God. I've, wi I've eyed this Wait. one all year. I said if they're undefeated, man, that's the worst Why one. Why are you getting all worked up then? Uh, then why does it? What why do you mean? Do you because care as of right now, you should only look at the resumes. You shouldn't be looking at the games forward. Colby demands the utmost in integrity and point in time. So wait, you're you're supposed it doesn't to matter guess, then. You're supposed to guess in the future when they're going to lose. No, no. But what he's saying is it's a completely worthless exercise to determine these college football playoff rankings when there's multi, there's games ahead that like well, even no. you're predicting they're going to lose. But even if they lose this, if they beat Ohio State in the Big Ten championship, they should be in. Based on what? If they beating beat Ohio State and being the the. The champion of the second best conference or they, third best conference in college football? They're not getting in over Ohio State if they beat them as a one loss team and Ohio State's undefeated. If well if that that's which why is I, 
I, I'm gonna. You know what? I I'm hope gonna, that I'm happens. gonna be watching XFL then. I hope right? that happens <laughs> because Colby's gonna lose. Oh, it's we're, gonna, we're gonna get so gonna, ridiculous. We could get the first three hour we podcast. Have a, we have a playoff. Yeah, it's, yeah. I'm gonna do a thirty hour podcast if that fucking Colby, happens. Colby, you look right, right in that camera and you tell them. <laughs> I'm gonna do a Dances with Wolves podcast. All right, Sean. If who do you happens. like? I like Iowa. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, Kyle, shout out to Kyle. Big week for Kyle. His Gophers won and the Vikings uh, won in prime time. And, uh, yes, I did like that, Kyle. I, I was on the Vikings money line taking down the dreadful, disgusting Cowboys. <laughs> I also bet on the Cowboys this week. So. Oh, my God. Gave, gave you, up me. is a disgusting <laughs> You deserve what you got, Didn't Ryan. the New York teams play? Yeah. <laughs> oh, how did I wow. forget that? Jets, Jets huh. trash talk. Huh. Hmm. Oh, we're, we're actually talking about college football right yeah, now? Daniel Jones, yeah, Daniel Jones, huh? <laughs> I mean, he wasn't the problem. Jamal no, Adams, he baby. threw four touchdowns. That to handoff fight. to Jamal Adams was great. They Jamal, I, I mean, he may have, <laughs> he may as well just taken his lunch too. I'm just like, I'll take that. Uh, it's good. like Robert it's Mays good. right before he got thrown in that locker. <laughs> Minnesota, granted, they're six and zero ATS in the last six games. I'm worried. Minnesota had their Super Bowl against nope. Penn State. Uh, friend of the program, uh, big fan. His uh, father. Mm. He 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 told us he texted me that it was such a big win for Minnesota that his father teared up and cried, and if your dad's crying about a regular season game, that means it's Super Bowl. That means it's something. I'll say this though, man. There's something to that row the boat, PJ Flex. He did it at Western Michigan. Hey, he I, made them believe, and he got really really far, man. Oh, and I I mean kudos to Minnesota. They're having even if they lose out here, whatever they they've had an amazing season. They deserve. To be recognized, I mean that was a huge win at home against Penn State, and they've just played extremely well. I do think this is where it runs out because emotionally, when you rush, when the they rush the field in college football, and you're gonna, how can you get up for a road game? Well, especially these, when it's these Iowa go City. For, Iowa City is one of the hardest places. It's a tough to spot. catch a, a, a W on a nationally televised game and these, at night. Yeah, these Minnesota Gopher kids are getting laid for the first time because of football. They're like, uh, <laughs> their minds are blown. The <laughs> slot. How's the slot? I I gotta go uh, Iowa here just as a Sean, emotional letdown for real quick Minnesota. Some athletic black studs are definitely getting laid in a campus full of white. That's women. true. Right, so <laughs> that the slot. How's the slot? <laughs> you know what? Change my pick to Minnesota. All right, row there the you boat. go. Row the fucking boat. Wow, Colby's like Colby's, row the fucking boat. I, Colby's so about, in his own head. I was row about, the fucking boat. Well, I was about to remind you. While this looks like a juicy spot to take Iowa and be cute and say, oh, well, Minnesota, the end of the road, there is something going on there. And what I saw in watching that Penn State game is I watched a team that they believed that they were better. Yeah, they whooped their ass from the f opening kick until the end of the game. And this is where I remind you, Sean, we love Iowa in these home spots as a scrappy underdog. Yeah, three points, same difference. Minnesota – Gets to walk in with the chip of saying, what? We're undefeated? We're the underdog? Right. Sean, you know hungry dogs run faster. Yeah, but I don't think they're hungry anymore. They're getting well fed this week. They're getting well fed, and they're riding on this boat, and they're rowing this fucking boat, and it's going to be magical. Belief matters. Give me Minnesota. Give me the Gophers. Love it. Love it, buddy. I'm really disappointed in Sean right now. This this Minnesota team... I. I I know they beat your. They your are the Rudy of college football right now. Hey, if they beat Iowa, I'll I'll bet all my money on them to beat Ohio State. I know that you they invoked karma upon your Penn State Nittany Lions. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I didn't care for that. But <laughs> if you watch this team, this is a team. They they everywhere on the field, all the positions, like they there's there's something about this team. I am very intrigued. To watch this matchup. Yeah, me too. Because if they me fall too, flat, I'll be very disappointed. Yeah. I mean, it's such a dangerous place to play, though. I mean, I had this one circle at the beginning of the year. Like, Man, all these, all these good games going on while we're at the uh, Washington <laughs> State game. I, I'll, I'll bring my uh, iPhone, man. We, we got YouTube TV on that shit. Oh, please. Why do you use that when you could use Hulu, Colby? Please. <laughs> Hulu John, has live sports. I don't know if you've seen Hulu ba has live sports. Baker Mayfield, uh, Todd Gurley, and Saquon Barkley. They know how to else. pick them. <laughs> Combined what? Uh, 45 yards? 
Between just the three of them. Just a bit outside. Sa- Saquon, one yard from <laughs> scrimmage. Although Baker won this week. Huge, huge, huge uh, win for the Hulu franchise. Oklahoma. The Sooners head to Waco, Texas, where they're 10 point road favorites against my Baylor Baylors. Plus 300 <laughs> on the money line for Baylor. Oklahoma minus 380 going the other way. Total sitting at 67 and a half. What's a Baylor? It's a guy who does the hay shit. Yeah. Just He's a hay Baylor. Hey, Baylor. Uh, uh, what's going on here? Uh, college football is happening. I, I'm, Oklahoma. Look. Oklahoma, the Baylor Bears, growl. Oklahoma pass interfered against Iowa State. They should have lost that game. That was a huge pass interference. But I'm okay with the no call because I love football returning to to the uh, to the ways that it should be. Oh, interesting. Right? Okay, but um, um, I still think this Oklahoma team is not the same. And I got Baylor. Give me the ten all day, all day on this one. Give me the Bears. Be- be- now, unlike so Minnesota, Baylor undefeated and a ten point home dog. If I'm catching this right. Noted. Has Baylor not been getting a little, getting a little lucky? <laughs> TCU is a good team. Horseshoe has has. Can I argue Oklahoma got a little lucky that that pass interference wasn't called? But this is how Baylor wins. This <sighs> is, they they win close games. How can you not say that Oklahoma was lucky as shit last week? Oh, oh I guess. Did you see the highlights? Did you see the game? I'm I'm ignoring Oklahoma for a second. <laughs> I'm just focused on the fact that Baylor. Baylor seven and zero straight up last seven games in the Big Twelve. They've, they've been great. They've played a harder slate of Big Twelve teams than Oklahoma this week. Oklahoma far. one and four ATS in their last five. Baylor also a sneaky preseason prediction by the one, the only <laughs> Sean stacking the money green to get in the college football playoff. Give me Baylor Bears. Check us out. Both these teams have played at Kansas State. Baylor. 32 it, it, to it, 32 to, uh, 33 to 12. It does and, not and work like Oklahoma that. Overheating. got their ass whooped. Well, no, it, it should work like that because for some reason, no, for some reason, Oklahoma with a loss is ranked higher than undefeated Baylor. Although Baylor's played better opponents in the big 12. I fucking hate you committee. I, hmm. I, 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 I we need a Mack truck to drive through the, that oh, fucking hot, room. Hot, hot, right. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Give me that truck sound. I love that truck sound. I will pay somebody to drive a Mack truck uh, through that fucking relax, room. Kobe. <laughs> Kobe is heated. That includes your your ass neck, Mr. Beamer, in that room. Wow. Wow. Catching, database. catching shrapnel from the side. <laughs> All right. Where are we at? Ryan, what's your pick? How dare you? <laughs> He's I'm a wearing, scumbag. I'm wearing That's the his le- vote that went for that shit too, dude. I'm the legendary Frank Beamer on the jersey right now. <laughs> that was very disappointing, Colby. <laughs> that was very disappointing. I'm taking Oklahoma. This is where it comes to an end for Baylor. I again I just think Oklahoma's gonna big brother him. <laughs> I, I do. I do. I, I think there's I, I think this could be a big this could be a blowout. Statement game for Oklahoma. They're trying to get in. No oh, man, you're so wrong, Ryan. <laughs> Makes me feel so good about my picks coming. Fourteen up. and four, last eighteen. <laughs> well, if Baylor right? loses this game, by the way, they could still play Oklahoma again in the Big Twelve Championship and win. Yeah, they'll beat them twice. Yeah, Fresno State. Last but not least. Well, actually, before we get to this, I did see some questions about the uh, about the Ohio State spread mm. because it's so comically it's high. Well, no, the over. So yeah, have a so it wasn't it was like the spread. Uh, Ohio State minus fifty two. Yeah, and the at the Rutgers, and the over unders fifty five. Yeah, any <laughs> thoughts on the game, Colby? I'm going with the over. Shit, they just dropped eighty on Maryland yeah, or seventy. Why, yeah, why is, it, why is it so low? <laughs> well, and they're missing right. the Ohio State they're and the over. the defensive lineman probably parlay both against Rutgers. Trust me, their fifth string defensive Six, lineman could destroy 60 Rutgers. And a, so it's a fifty-two point spread. It's a sixty and a half point. That must have went up, dude. It was yeah, 55 it was at like when 55. it dropped. It was at 50, 55 when it started. That's I'll funny. still take it. I'll take it up to sixty-one. <laughs> You're saying they're minus fifty-two? <laughs> how how hard can they care about defense? At some point, I love that. I have points. an Ohio State four to one ticket. Looking LSU good, plus four fifty. Ohio State. Plus well, what's great about LSU grabbing that win is like Ohio State's even more flying under the radar. Ohio, I actually think they're more, a more complete team than LSU. Ohio State is just running through people at this point. I, I'm not getting in, in front of them. Final so, pick. Thanks of for the bringing that game up. Podcast <laughs> Fresno State 
heads down to San Diego, where our Aztecs, our gals, coming off a tough loss against the Wolfpack. The Aztecs, minus one and a half favorite, minus 125 in the money line. Fresno State, plus 105. Total sitting at 45. Do our gals and Rocky Long rebound here, Colby? I have a hard time with with calling them our gals. They've they've treated me horrible this year. They've been Tulsa's bad. more like our gals for me at personally, but so I'm gonna ride Fresno here. I think Fresno's actually the better team here. Fresno had a tough out of conference schedule. Their record's a little bit deceiving. Um, the real FSU. So you're going Fresno State. I am gonna take Fresno State to get this done. Kramer. I think Colby just said his girl was a golden hurricane. <laughs> I did just C- say that. Consume that how you may. <laughs> uh, listen, San Diego State needs to get in the fucking corner right now. They and their season, they just crushed their season with that yeah, loss. I know. To a shitty team, actually. I don't know if they rebound. I, I do have. This I, is a Friday night game. I enjoy this Fresno State team. San Diego State's offense is just. It's, it's it's embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> they, I that watched quarterback a lot of is that. So g- bad. I watched a lot of they, that game. They were gonna win that game if that quarterback, like he is JP Lossman two point dude. Wow. Okay. He pull, is JP Lossman two I, I would have gone Sam Darnold, but no. But he's like running around, and he he reminds me of Lossman with his. He's very athletic for a quarterback. No, I. I'm, he's just fucking. Uh, he makes the cra- craziest decisions. It's amazing how you can make the wrong decision Cons- that, that consistently. Yeah. Agreed. All year I've been watching. I'm going San Diego State. Bounce back game. Rocky Long knows how to inspire these kids. It's a Friday night game. Fresno State coming in. They're going to get up for this game. This is their Super Bowl after a very disappointing loss. I think the Aztecs roll, especially at minus one and a half. Give me the San Diego State Aztecs, baby. And now time for the lock dog tease and bonus lock. Presented by MyBookie.ag, promo code SGP. Happy <laughs> Colby, kick things off. What are we doing? Guys, I want to lock up a bunch of other teams. I, but you know what? I'm going to be in Pullman. Oh. Mm. I'm going to be in Pullman. He's doing it. All right? So cue the Rudy music. We're going to get this done. <laughs> Mike talked to them. He caught them out for the second time this year. They are 10 and a half point favorites. Right? So I don't know if we can... <laughs> But they're going to figure things out and get to a bowl game. That's why you play that music, because they are going to get to a bowl game this year, and it starts right here in Pullman. I'll be there. I'll go to that bar where you throw a Skittle and a Zima and drink it. I'll do it. I'll do all that fucking thing. Yeah, where is that bar? (laughs) (laughs) Colby's totally going to do that. (laughs) Dude, don't worry. You're not eating meat, so you're still more pussy than me. Right? Uh, Zima? (laughs) That's really... Give me Wazoo as the lock. Minus 10.5. I want to go with other ones, but look, you can't... This was this was divine intervention. We write an article. They contact us. We're now we're going to Pullman. You yep. know, it's part of the journey, Colby. Trust the process. The twinkle in Colby's eye right now. <laughs> and then uh, my my dog. Okay, you want to dog it up here? Let's go with. Give me Baylor plus three hundred. Oh, you're things in it. Waco are gonna oh, get interesting. Don't, just They're gonna money, get bro. very interesting. Colby, in Waco. why don't you take take Wake Forest? Come on, don't touch my <laughs> Baylor. Take. Take uh, Wake Forest. <laughs> Come on, you know Colby's gonna take him. Uh, What's got, your three team tease? My my tease. Colby, Let's, to to his credit, we we give him shit for his teasing strategy, but leading <laughs> the pack at sixty four percent. You better start thinking about yours, buddy. Okay, so let's go with first. Oh man, you telling me I can get Virginia Tech as a favorite, <laughs> a half point favorite? You, give you me should, the Hokies. Not the worst thing to do. Virginia Tech plus a half. Okay. And then we're going to go with, um, give me Nebraska plus 20. Okay. And then let's go with, hmm, (laughs) let's go, let's go over to Eastern Michigan minus 11. Hmm. Okay. Eastern Michigan minus 11. And for your bonus lock, Colby. (laughs) The Rainbow Warriors travel to Las Vegas. Where UNLV, who's only won one FBS game uh, in that one game, was against the mighty SEC on the road in Nashville by about 30 points. Just want to shit on the S- SEC. SEC. Hawaii, minus seven, coming into Vegas. Look, Nick Rolovich doing good things there. They're already bowl eligible. They are contending for the, the West Championship. This is a huge game for them. So give me the Rainbow Warriors in Vegas. 
Kramer, kick things off. What's your lock? It blows my mind every time. My lock, Auburn, wrong team favored. Mm. Okay. Auburn plus three for your dog. My dog. Geez, I, I, I really want to throw out Michigan State. I don't think they're going to get the – I just that offense. Yeah. I've bet on them a couple times this year, and you turn it on, and you're like, Jesus Christ, that's <laughs> fucking gross. My dog, they keep rolling. They set up a very intriguing – Row bat. the boat. Row the boat. Give me Minnesota. Yeah. Give me the Golden Gophers there plus go. 30. <laughs> there I'm we not go. getting crazy this week. I'm just taking a team that's going to flat out win. For my tees, uh, yeah, let's test the fuck my life tour. Hokies minus five. Let's uh, let's bang Navy up to 16 or 15 Ho and a half. Hokies plus a half. Plus a half. <laughs> what did I say? Wait, minus you five. said minus five. <laughs> Navy up to 16 and a half, 15 and a half. I can't fucking do math right now. And for the last leg of my tease, as much as I'd really like to put our gals in the corner, I need to have a little juice on this Washington State game. There we go. Let's there bring it down to four and a half. And your bonus lock, Ryan. Oh, we're doing bonuses this week. We do, okay. Is that what we're this doing? This is Ryan's running joke. Where he <laughs> Give me Missouri plus seven at home. Against Florida. Fuck Florida. So you're under. You're under still I'm, alive. I'm going for my under. <laughs> Uh, uh, Missouri is just that weird spot for these SEC teams. It is, and, it is. And, and Florida's trash. I, I'm baffled every time I look at their record. Well, because they played two FCS games and had three buys. The only team in the country that had three buys. The only team, I think one of the only power fives that that had two FCS opponents, Virginia Tech being the other. And, uh, and yeah, it's just disgusting. That's disgusting. Sean, that go. is a disgusting act. I know how to do the podcast, but thank you, Colby. <laughs> Baylor plus 10 for my lock. Oh. And I will be sprinkling a little on that money line as well. But uh, for my dog, officially, Michigan State, fuck Harbaugh, plus 425 <laughs> for Sparty. It's a big, it's their Super Bowl. They're going to get up for it. For my tees, give me the Cougs down to four and a half. The midshipmen up to 15 and a half. And closing it out, uh, I don't, uh, yeah, I'll do Nebraska plus 20. And for my bonus lock, continue to fade UMass. Give me Northwestern <laughs> minus 39. This How is, is Northwestern laying 39? This is going to be points. really it interesting because no I, sense. Northwestern has maybe the worst offense, but UMass has the worst defense. This is going to be very fun to watch. But to lay 39 <laughs> points. <laughs> That's insane. That's probably the only time ever in Northwestern's history well, that's been that high. Here's the good news. 32% of the people betting on this game are taking, taking UMass. UMass. <laughs> How many? 32%. Oh, wow. <laughs> what sad, sad, weird losers. Well, there's a lot of val My power ranking has this. Um, this should be Northwestern minus 36. Mm. <laughs> so there's tremendous value yeah. in the dog. There, there's a nice three-point spread there. <laughs> Again. Hit us up if you're going to be in Pullman, Washington, or Spokane on Thursday night. Uh, Pullman for the the game against Stanford. <laughs> yeah, even if you're a Stanford game's on fan, Saturday. Just for the record, hit us up. <laughs> yeah, we'll be there Saturday. Uh, a little bit of Friday, hanging out, drinking. I want to try that chilling. cheese in Pullman. Yeah, whatever uh, local things you I'm guys down. have to do, yeah, hit man. us up. You can do cheese. Podcast. There, there we cheese. go. Right up your right up your uh, alley. Your dairy. <laughs> All right. I yeah, didn't know you were dairy. Yeah, I didn't know you were doing Tell dairy. Tess that. You got ammo now when you go back. Eggs, too. Right? Don't worry. I talk to Tess all the time about yeah, it. You know what, who else I bring up was a vegetarian? Hitler. All right? <laughs> Mention it all the time. I don't, oh. Draw whatever correlations you want to. That's the second time in, in, in a week you've gone for the uh, the Nazi reference, Sean. Hey, it's a big... It's, you know, it's, they're just great I, I get it. analogies. It's eagle stress. Tiki's oh, coming. Tiki Barber's right, a vegetarian don't. too. <laughs> Ooh, we might have to end this thing right now. <laughs> we'll have we'll, we're, we're going to convince him. Drop us a line podcast at sports gambling podcast dot com if you're going to be in the Pullman area. Uh, yeah, get on the iTunes reviews, and if it's really awesome, we'll read it on air and, check, and hook you up with some free merch. Check out the IG. Check out Instagram. the Instagram sports gambling podcast. YouTube.com slash sports gambling podcast. And for the sports gambling podcast, I'm Sean stacking the money green and he is Ryan. Go Hokies Kramer. Let it ride.